And that's why they've tried to tell you again and again there's not a scintilla of evidence. And this is really pretty preposterous for the House managers to come and say, particularly with respect to the Biden Burisma incident, there can't be any legitimate interest in raising that, questioning that, because it's all been debunked. And the question's been asked, where was it debunked? By whom was it debunked? Who conducted that investigation? Where's the report from that investigation? Who established that there's nothing there? There is no such report. They've been asked, they haven't been able to cite it. There's been no such investigation. But what do we know? We do know that every witness who was asked about it said, at a minimum, there was an appearance of a conflict of interest. We do know that at least two members of the Obama administration, Amos Hochstein and uh, Deputy Assistant Secretary of State Kent, raised the issue of a conflict of interest with Vice President Biden's office. We know that uh, the uh, Chris Hines, the stepson of Secretary of State Kerry, who had been a business partner with Hunter Biden, broke off his business ties with him because Hunter Biden took a seat on the board of Burisma. So to say that there is nothing that could possibly merit asking a question about that is utterly disingenuous. It can't be said with a straight face. Every witness that was asked about it said that there was something at least it gave the appearance of a conflict of interest. There hasn't been any investigation to debunk this theory. There hasn't been any inquiry to find out is there 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 or not. And it doesn't have to do, as Manager Schiff was suggesting, just with, well, why was Hunter Biden on the board? Or were they paying him to it? It's the whole situation. The whole situation of all of a sudden, he's put on the board at the time when his father was put in charge of Ukraine policy. And there are people, there were witnesses who testified in the House proceedings that it appeared like Burisma was trying to whitewash their reputation by putting people with connections on their board. And then there's the prosecutor being fired. It's just not reasonable to say that no one could possibly say, that looks fishy. There's something maybe that somebody should look into there.